Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Sheni, Daf Tet Vav Beit, Chapter 2, Page 15b. Dilma Rabbi Yehuda here, perhaps that missionary is according to Rabbi Yehuda, Lat Kila Hudalo, and is only in the first instance that a deaf person shouldn't read. Ha Diava Shapir Dame, after the fact it is considered proper. Let it not enter your mind. For the mission taught that a deaf person is similar to a deranged person or a minor. In the, all the, the three are grouped together. Uh, just as a deranged person or minor is not valid, therefore also after the fact. Diavad namilo. So too, a deaf person is not valid. Also, after the fact. But perhaps this is as it is. Vaha, that is, um, he's disqualified from being a preferred reader. Vaha kedita, and this uh, a deranged person and a minor is as it is. They are disqualified after the fact. Umi matit leokma karabi Yehuda. But can you really establish this law of the Mishnah as following Rabbi Huda? Baha mid katane sefer. But since the end taught, Rabbi Huda machshiba katan. Rabbi Yehuda declares a man qualified. Miklal deresha love Rabbi Yehuda here. By implication, the beginning of the Mishnah is not uh, reflecting Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda's view. Vidyuma kola Rabbi Yehuda here. But perhaps the entire Mishnah. Is according to Rabbi Yehuda, Utre Gavne Katan, and there are two types of minors, Vechasure Michasra Vahachi Katane, and the Mishnah were missing words, and this is what it teaches: Hakol Kesherin Likro Et Hamigila, all are qualified to recite the Megillah, Chutz Mecheresh Shote Vekatan, except for one who is deaf, a deranged person, and a minor. Bametvarim Amurim, regarding what. Uh, are these words said? What type of minor? The katan shelohi gyalichinoch regarding a minor who has not reached the age of training, for as in ayi ba mitzvah. Aval katan shehi gyalichinoch, however, regarding a minor who has reached ba mitzvah, afilo le lechatchila kasher. He is qualified to say the megillah even from the beginning. Divrei Rabbi Yehuda. These are words of Rabbi Yehuda. She Rabbi Yehuda machshir. Bakatan Rabbi Yehuda declares a man qualified. But Mayuk Ukimta, Okimta, how did you establish uh, the authorship of the Mishnah in, in Megillah? Ka Rabbi Yehuda, in accord with Rabbi Yehuda, v'diavad ein, and indeed uh, only after the fact. Lechachilalo, initially it should not be performed. Ela had tatane Rabbi Yehuda berei de Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi. But this ruling that Rabbi Yehuda, the son of Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi, taught, Cheresh uh, Hamedaber Eino Shomea, a deaf person who can speak but cannot hear, Torem Lechachila, but may separate trauma in the first instance. Money. Uh, whose view is this? Lo Rabbi Yehuda, velo Rabbi Yossi, neither Rabbi Yehuda or Rabbi Yossi. I Rabbi Yehuda, if you say Rabbi Yehuda, diavadein lechachila lo. It's indeed valid only after the fact, but initially not performed. E Rabbi Yossi, and if you say Rabbi Yossi, diavad namilo. It's not valid also after the fact. Just, just going to scroll down. So we're on the fourth wide line towards the beginning. From LMA. LMA, but what do you say? Rabbi Yehuda, uh, Rabbi Yehuda va filu lechachila nami. And this is even in the first instance. Ela ha detanya, but how do you account for this that was taught in the Baraisa? A person should not recite the blessing of Birkat Hamazon in his heart. 
But if he did recite the blessing in this manner, Yatsa is fulfilled. Mani, whose opinion is this? Lo Rabbi Yoda, velo Rabbi Yossi. Neither Rabbi Yoda nor Rabbi Yossi. I Rabbi Yoda, if you say Rabbi Yoda, Ha'ama filo lechachila anami. For he said, even in the first instance, Ve'im ve'i Rabbi Yossi, and if you say Rabbi Yossi, Ha'ama filo diavad nami lo. For he has said, even after the fact, it's not valid. Le'olam Rabbi Yoda here. In truth, the Truma Baraisa is according to Rabbi Yoda. Va'filo lechachila nami. And even in the first instance, an inaudible recital is acceptable. Velokasha, but nevertheless, there is no difficulty. Hadide, for this is Rabbi Yoda's own opinion. Had uh, Rabbe and this other Baraisa about Bekanamazon is Rabbi Yoda's teacher's opinion. Detanya, for it was taught in a brisa, Ama Rabbi Yoda Mishum, Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah, Rabbi Yoda said in the name of Rabbi Elazar ben Azariah, Hakoret, Hakoret Shema Tzarich Shishma Lazno. One who recites the Shema needs to make it audible to his ear, to his ear, to his ear, Shenema Shema Israel, as it says, Hear, O Israel, Ama Lo Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Meir said to him, Harehu Omer, but a subsequent verse states, Asher Nechim Tzavecha Yomal Vecha, that I command you this day be upon your heart. Aha kavanat alev hein hein devarim advarim pursuant to the concentration of the heart are these very words. Hashda da titla hachi. Now that you've come to uh, this baraisa, afilo tema rabbi yoda karabe severely. You can even say that rabbi yoda concurs with his teacher. Velo kasha and there's still no difficulty. Ha rabbi yoda. This uh, the baraisa about bekaramazon. Is according to to Rabbi Yehuda Har Rabbi Meir, in the ruling of Rabbi Meir, um, he says that the inaudible recital is acceptable. Ama Rav Chisa Ama Rav Shila. Rav Chisa said in the name of Rav Shila. Halacha Rabbi Yehuda Shema Mishum Rabbi Elazar Ben Azaria. The law follows Rabbi Yehuda who said in the name of Rabbi Elazar Ben Azaria. For Halacha Rabbi Yehuda and the law follows Rabbi Yehuda who in our Mishnah concurs. Utrichan is necessary. De'i ashminan halacha karabi yoda for if he informed us that the law follows Rabbi Yoda, hava mina fila lachachila. I would have thought that even in the first instance, ka mashma lan halacha karabi yoda shema mishum Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria. This teaches us that the law follows Rabbi Yoda, who said in the name of Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria. De'i ashmina. Ash mi inan halacha, Rabbi Yoda, Shema Mishum, Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria. And if Rabbi Chizda informed us the law following Rabbi Yoda, who said in the name of Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria, Hava mina tarikh vein la takana, I would have thought, needs to, makes the recital audible, needs to, he has no remedy. Vein la takana. I would have thought, sorry, Hava mina tarikh vein la takana, I would have thought, Needs to um, means that he has no remedy. Kamash mala na lacha karabi yoda. Rachiska teaches us that the law follows Rabbi Yoda. Amar Rabbi Yosef. Rabbi Yosef says, Machloket bekriya shma. The dispute concerns the recital of shma. Aval b'sha mitzvot. However, with regard to the other commandments, Divrei Hakol loyata. All agree he does not fulfil. The obligation, even after the fact. Dear Tifer, it's written, Hasked to Shema Israel. Be attentive and hear, O Israel. Mitive, they retorted, Lo Yabarechatam Birkatam Azam Belivo. A person should not recite the blessing of grace after meals in his heart. The Im Berechata, but if he did recite the blessing, he has fulfilled his obligation. Ela Itma Hachi Itma, rather, if a ruling was stated, it was stated thus Ama Rav Yosef, Mech Machoket Bekriat Shma, a dispute concerning the recital of Shma, Tiftiv, since it's written, Shma Israel, Hero Israel, Aval Bisham, it's what, how with regard to the other commandments, Divraya Koyatza, all agree that one fulfills his obligation in or, after a notable recital. Bahachtiv, but it's written, Hasket of Shma Israel, be attentive and hear, O Israel. So it needs to be audible. That the, uh, that was written concerning words of Torah. Kara velo diktek be otiot teha. If one recited Shema was not meticulous in, in saying each of its letters, 
Amar Rabbi Tavi, Amar Rabbi Yoshua. Yet Yoshaya, Yoshia, Reb Tavi said in the name of Rabbi Yoshia, Halacha Kedivre Shnehim Lakel, the law follows the opinions of both of them. Rabbi Yoda and Rabbi Yossi to be lenient. But Amar Rabbi Tavi, Amar Rabbi Yoshia, Reb Tavi said in the name of Rabbi, Yoshi, Rabbi Yoshia, my dear, what, is it, what does it mean that's written? Shalosh, Hena, Lotish, Tis, Bana, Shaol, Ve'otzerachem. There are three things that are never satisfied. The grave, the narrow part of the womb. And there's one more thing, the earth that is not satisfied with water. Ve'chi, Ma, Inyan, Shaol, Etzerachem. Now, what, with what connection is there between the grave and the womb? Why are they next to each other? El alamala lecha, rather it's to tell you, marechem machnis, umotzi, that just as the womb takes in and sends forth, ah, she'ol, she'ol machnis umotzi, so too does the grave take in a corpse and sends forth uh, a person alive at the time of Meshach, at Tchiat HaMetim. Vahalot varen kal vachomer, so is the matter not a kal vachomer, umarechem shemachnisin bo bechashai umotziin mimenu bekolei, if the womb which takes in, it takes in the sperm in silence, sends forth a baby amidst great clamor, Sheol, Shemachni Simbo, Bekole, Kolot, Eino, Din, Shemotzin, Mimeno, Bekole, Kolot. It is not evident that the grave which takes in uh, a corpse amidst great clamor will bring forth amidst great clamor, Mikan Chuva, Lomrim, Einet, Kiatamitim, Minatura. From here is a refutation to, refutation to those who say, there is nothing that talks about Tchiat HaMetim in the Torah Shabbatim, in the written Torah. Just scroll down. So we're um, three quarters of the way down the wide section, about um, 12 lines up from the bottom, at the two dots, starting Tani Rabbi Yoshia. Tane Rabbi Yoshia Kamed Rava. Rabbi Yoshia taught in the presence of Rava. Och Tavtem, and you shall write them. That's from the Shema. Hakol Birtav. Everything is written, Afilod Tzvaot, even the instructional verses. Amale, Rava said to Rabbi Yoshia, Damal Lachmani, who told you this? Rabbi Yodahi. Rabbi Yodah Yehudahi. Is Rabbi Yehuda the Ama Gabe Sota? He said with regard to the Mitzvah Sota, Alot Kotev Tzvaot Eino Kotev. The curses are written on a scroll and raised in water, and the commandments are not written. Ba'atam Hu Dichtiv, and there it were written, or Vekatav Et Haalot Haalot Haele, and the Kohen shall write these curses. Aval Hacha, but here. In the Mezuzah, Dirtivok Tavtem, where it's written, and write them, Afilot Tzvaot Nami. Even the instructional verses are in the Mezuzah, all the Tefillin. Atu Tamei de Rabbi Yehuda, Mishon Dirtiv Vachatav, is Rabbi Yehuda's reason um, for excluding commandments from the Sotah scroll, because it's written, and write, and not write them. No, Tamei de Rabbi Yoda Mishon Tichtivalot. Rabbi Yoda's reason is because it's written, uh, the Kohen shall write the curses. Alot ein tzvaot lo. Curses indeed are not instructional verses. Itzrich, it is necessary. Salka datach amina neilaf ktiva ktiva meatam. It would have occurred to you, I might say, we should learn. A gazera shava of writing, writing from there, uh, in the case of the sota, as follows: Mahatamalot ein tzvat lo. Just as there in the, in the sota passage, the curses are indeed instructional, and uh, indeed not instructional verses. Af hacha nami tzvat lo. So to here in the mezuzah, the instructional verses are not recorded. Kata racha rachmana uchtav uchtav so to avoid the Gezer Shava, the uh, Hashem wrote in the Mezuzah, write them Uchtav Tam, Afilo Tzvaot, even the instructional verses must be written in the Torah scroll. Tanei 
Rav Ovadia Kamei de Rava. Rav Ovadia taught in the presence of Rava, Limaratim, and you shall teach them. Sheyehe Lamud Chatam, and that your study hall shall be pure. Meaning that the letters should be said um, perfectly or without fault. Sheitin Revach Ben Hadvekim, that one must pause between these words, attached. Ane Rava Batre, Rava responded after Rava Vodya. To explain the statement, Kgon Alevavecha, for example, the words Alevavecha upon your heart, Alevavchem, Alevavchem upon your heart, Bechol Levavcha, Bechol and Levavcha with all your heart, Bechol Levavchem, Bechol and Levavchem with all your heart, Esev Besadecha, Esev Besadecha, grass in your field, Vavaratem Mehera, Vavaratem and Mehera, and you'll be swiftly banished. Hakanaf Patil, of each corner of thread, Etchem Eretz, you from the land. So, so between each of those words that we just said, you have to have a pause in between. You do have to have a pause? Hang on. You, yes. So, Rava Varya taught that you have to have, that you must pause between those words. And Rava responded to Rava Varya. Ah. Right. So, Al Levav Chem. So each of those words finishes with um, with the same letter. Each of the first words finishes with the first with with a letter that the second word begins with. So you have to have a pause between them to separate the words. Ama Rabbi Chama Rabbi Chanina Rabbi Chana the son of Rabbi Chanina said, "Kol hakorekriyat shma o me dakdek beotiyoteha." Anyone who performs the shmar recital and is meticulous. In its letters and words, Metzanenin lo Gehinom. Gehinom is called for him. Shinemar be Faresh Shaddai Melachim Bat Tashleg Betzalmon. When the Almighty scatters kings in it, shall those in shadowy darkness be whitened. Al Tikre be Faresh, read not be Faresh, when he scatters, Ela be Faresh, be Faresh, when he's clear. Al Tikre Betzalmon. Furthermore, read, don't read Betzalmon in shadowy, shadowy darkness, Ela Betzalmavet, uh, in the shadow of death, that is Gehinna. Vama Rabbi Chama, but Rabbi Chanina, and Rabbi Chama, the son of Rabbi Chanina, also said, I'll just finish this on the next page. On 16a, Ohalim lin Halim, why are tents and brooks juxtaposed? Dichtiv, as it's written, Kin Halim nitayu keganot ale. Sorry. Nahar ka ahalim nata vagomer. Stretching out like brooks, like gardens, by a river, like tents pitched, etc. Loma lecha. So why is the tents and the brooks together? Lo malacha to teach you ma nechalim malin et adam mitum a letara. Just as brooks elevate a person from ritual impurity to a state of ritual purity, af ohalim malin et adam mikaf chava lechaf zechut. So too, the tents of Torah can elevate a person from the scale of guilt toward the scale of merit.